morning. As you have probably already noticed, I decided to film a little vlog today uh, because two reasons mainly. First reason, like the first half, let's just say the first half of yesterday was horrible due to um, some bad uh, yeah some bad Patreon and um, YouTube comment interactions um, also just I don't know work was also just boring and annoying and you know just had a very bad day in general a lot of things came together that were annoying and that were bad so yeah luckily luckily uh, in the evening we had a little um, coven meetup so that was fun so at least like the second half of the day was very enjoyable and it basically saved my day um, but I thought like after a day like that I need some kind of refreshment if that makes sense um, I thought I would just take a day to myself and just do whatever makes me happy um, also I just need to do some stuff for example I really need to redo my altars um, and the second reason for the vlog, today is actually a full moon, so it's perfect timing because I had planned to do some stuff either way. Um, and yes, I know usually <laughs> you redo your altars on a new moon. I know that was also my plan, but uh, on the I think the last new moon was a Virgo new moon so it would have also been perfect timing to redo my altars and stuff but <laughs> I was about to say sadly but actually not sadly because it was amazing uh, I was in Copenhagen during the new moon and also around the new moon so I could not use the new moon to redo my altars so I will just do it on a full moon because in the end, it's okay to do it whenever you have time and whenever you like. So since I'm feeling like it, I could use some refreshment and it is a full moon. I will just do it today. And I thought I could just take you around on my little full moon adventures. I have not really planned the entire day yet. So yeah, I just decided to do whatever I feel like doing apart from, as I said, redoing my altars because that is definitely very much needed. Um, I haven't redone, like cleaned and cleansed my altars in a very long time. I am a very naughty witch and a very naughty heathen. Um, I should have really done it earlier to be honest but first of all I didn't have a lot of time I was under a lot of stress so I couldn't be bothered <laughs> so yeah don't take me as a role model I guess because I am but yeah I also thought I could um, use this moment excuse me I could use this moment to talk a little bit about what it's like to be a content creator because yesterday was honestly just annoying um, I won't really go in depth about the uh, on the Patreon um, experience that I had because I guess that's rather um, rather private uh, but yeah the other thing and that is something that I feel like not a lot of people get like if you are not a content creator you just you won't encounter that but 
every single content creator knows that problem. And that problem is that um, you can't do it right. You can't do it correctly because Constantly people will be like you are only uploading beginner content. You're not talking about advanced stuff. You're Not talking about your own experiences and your own beliefs enough. You're not personal enough You only basically repeat what everyone else has already made content on and uh, Comments like these you will find them all the friggin time uh, So people are always complaining about that but then once you upload something where you go a little bit more in depth on your own views, you get comments saying like you are gatekeeping or your views are problematic or what the fuck. Um, and that happens even if you state very clearly that this is only your opinion and in the end it doesn't matter because it's only your opinion. Um, but you will still get people being but heard about your opinion and your beliefs, which what the heck, it's my beliefs. And if it's about a topic where there is no single fact and there is no single definition for something, um, being but heard about someone else's definition doesn't make friggin sense. Um, so yeah, it just seems like you can't do it right either. You're only making beginner content, not sharing your own opinions and your own beliefs. But then your, pe your, your content is deemed boring and repetitive and not, I guess, challenging enough. But then if you do share your opinions, then there will be people who either say this, is, this could be harmful for beginners, <laughs> which is funny, um, or people who will say like, in any way basically complain about your beliefs even if it's your own beliefs like how can someone of course if it's like racist anti-semitist or like ableist or anything like that that's not the case that's not what I'm talking about but like for example if you have an opinion like a definition on I don't know what witchcraft is like in my uh, in my example that was my definition on what a witch is and you would guess, since there is not a real, like, set definition on what a witch is, and everyone sees it a little bit differently, people would not, like, complain about your beliefs. But um, apparently I was wrong with that. Uh, and people, like some people, to be fair, only very few people, but a few people were butthurt. Most people were nice about it. But there were also people who accused me of gatekeeping and stuff, which I think is funny, but... Yeah, so you see, um, before you tell a content creator that you want to see more advanced stuff or more of their own views and opinions and experiences, um, maybe reflect on the fact that if content creators upload things like that, they will instantly get backlash by someone. So. And some people are fine with it, like I'm, you know, I upload a lot of commentary stuff and a lot of my opinion and a lot of things that basically open me up to criticism. And I am like mostly fine with it. Um, mostly it doesn't really bother me. And if someone is rude in the comments, I just won't reply. But sometimes it does really hurt and sometimes it does make you extremely anxious. And some people just don't want to risk that. Like some people don't want to risk a comment ruining their day basically because yeah, um, comments like comments like that yesterday, they ruined my day or at least like half my day um, and led me to like quit work early because I just needed a break. So comments really, really do have a big impact on a creator's life and some people just don't want their days being ruined by comments like that so they decide not to share personal opinions or they decide not to share anything that could be deemed controversial which nowadays I feel like is basically everything because people are like butthurt about every single tiny thing that you say. Um, cancel culture is real 
And again, I am not talking about things that are actually wrong, like racism, bigotry, white supremacism, things like that. That is an obvious fact that that does not fall under like freedom of speech or anything, but ah, uh, just like personal opinions, personal beliefs, like philosophical, the theological personal beliefs. Um, how can you yeah, like argue about that? Um, but people do. And that leads to some creators not wanting to talk about topics like that. So before you um, ask a creator or attack a creator basically bec because they don't make content about that and they don't get personal enough, just reflect on the fact that they will make themselves very vulnerable with that and some people just are not open to that. Some people just don't want that and I totally understand that. And um, before someone hops in the comments saying, well, you are putting yourself out there on the internet, so you had it coming basically. If you say that, I will just hide your comments because that is bullshit. Because only just because you are on the internet doesn't mean that societal rules don't apply to you anymore. Like, you probably also wouldn't just go up to a coworker and be rude to them, right? So why should you do that on the internet to a creator? You also don't just go outside and say like, well, you went outside, so you put yourself out there, so now I can comment freely on what you look like, for example, just because you went out on the street. So I feel like this, you had it coming because you create content online is just a total excuse for being rude and an ass and that is not something that I will that I will just accept so if someone wanted to comment that better not because otherwise you won't comment on my content ever again um, but yeah makeup is done so my rant I guess is also over I just wanted to talk about that quickly because yeah it's really really impacted my day yesterday it really annoyed me um, and I am mostly just taking it and not really talking about it because I know that is just, that's just something that happens as a content creator because I have a cat hair in my nose. Um, that's just what happens because you can't satisfy everyone, you can't make everyone happy. But still, I feel like people should not be rude. So, rant over, basically. Um, I will now clean my altar. Alrighty, the first part is of course cleansing the entire space um, physically first. So I will clean up all of this mess. There is a lot of like incense and parts of my of my mugwort smoke stick lying around everywhere. So I will first like clean out this entire space. Then I will cl clean it with vinegar. I really like to use vinegar. And uh, then I will cleanse it down with a cleansing spray. So that will be energetic cleansing. And then I will bless it and put it all together again. But I guess I just have to, blah, I have to clean out this mess first. spray decided not to spray anymore so I guess I will have to sprinkle <laughs> that's okay too as long as it ends up on the altar hey 
Hashtag aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> but you know, I just realized I have a spray. It's not necessarily a, oh no. It's not necessarily a cleansing spray, but I feel like it could work well on the altar. I have this golden harvest ritual spray. It is an aura spray, but who cares? I can also use it on my altar if I want to. I got this from the witch's moon box. Oh, and it smells amazing. And I think I will use it for the altar. That is very fitting for fall right now. So let's just use that alongside my cleansing spray, which I had to sprinkle. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. I just let this marinate for a little bit. Now my altar feels very nice and clean and it smells heavenly. So now we have cleaned and cleansed it and now I want to bless it. And for that purpose, I have, I don't know if you can even see it, wait. <laughs> I have a little oil. It's also still available on my shop. It's called the Blessing and Bane Consecration Oil. It is supposed to be used alongside some of your, like a part of your body, so your blood or your hair or fingernails or whatever. I use blood, so I put a little bit of blood into this oil and now I can use it to consecrate and bless whatever I like. With my oil in it, it has a very strong tie to me and I am using that oil, just putting a few drops on my fingers and then I will bless my altar with it. Oh, it feels so good and powerful. And now I will bless my altar with it by drawing a very simple, a very simple Thor's hammer on it. You probably can't see it, it's fine. But I'm drawing a very simple Thor's hammer on it. To bless it, you could draw whatever you like, a sigil, a rune, whatever really. Maybe at some point I will make a separate symbol only for that purpose, but for now a Thor's hammer is fine. I'm back. Um, as you saw, I was out and about a little bit thrift shopping. I wasn't too successful. I got one, uh, the woolen sweater that I showed you and a little crop top, but nothing special really, uh, nothing noteworthy. Um, and afterwards I had a little bit of cake and a, a what did I get? A pumpkin spice chai at a cafe and read for a little bit but now I'm home again but actually since the Sun will set again very soon in a couple of hours like one and a half or two hours it will probably be dark again so I think I will use the remains of sunlight today to go to the cemetery nearby because 
it is fall now and I would really like to have a proper alpha bloat to basically give back to the land spirits, to the elves, but I can't really do that anywhere here. I can't like hold a bloat outside and doing an alpha bloat inside kind of feels strange. So I will just take my offerings to the cemetery and then see how much I can do. Probably not much, but at least I can give some offerings there and say some thanks to the land spirits. Um, and yeah, I have to do that now because otherwise it will be dark. So I don't really want to go to the cemetery in the dark. So I guess we will go to the cemetery now and I will show you the cemetery. It's very nice and gloomy outside. It's borderline raining. It's not really raining, but it constantly looks like it will rain. So I will just take you there. I guess it could be some nice aesthetically pleasing early fall cemetery content. We will see what happens, but let's go for a walk. What an active being outside kind of day. Just to make sure you know, this is not a normal day for me. This is a very exceptionally active day on a normal weekday, even on a normal weekend day. I don't do nearly as much as I do today. So that's why I only vlog fun days where I do a lot of stuff. So rambled enough, let's go to the cemetery. Hello, I am back from my walk and uh, I have food in the oven because I have decided that I will watch Practical Magic under candlelight with little pizza bites. Very cozy because it's dark now outside, it's very gloomy and wet and it's raining. But I thought um, I have to make some oils and while I'm doing that I will talk to you and tell you what happened on the cemetery. And by the way, I am making my bad bitch oil, which is a self-confidence and self-love oil and a protection oil, Sacred Sentinel. Um, both perfect for a Aries, an Aries full moon. But, um, so what happened on the cemetery? I mean, first of all, it was very nice and gloomy. I guess you saw that already. Um, it was just awesome, nice and gloomy and dark and I found some very nice graves that I haven't seen before. But as you know, I wanted to um, give an offering to the spirits of the cemetery, especially to the local and the land spirits. 
and um, I found this tree stump that's like basically like 70% of it is hidden in other trees and I thought that's the perfect place to give the offering and uh, I gave the offering and I just told them what I wanted to tell them and said thanks and stuff and after that after I had given the offering it started pouring rain like exactly after I had given the offering it started pouring rain like for a minute or so So yeah, it started pouring rain um, before it hadn't rained and um, the weather forecast did say that it should rain a little bit but not that much but it started pouring rain but only like for a minute or so and during that minute I could basically like hide under a tree and after that minute it was fine, it was gone again and it was not like nice and sunny but just as it was before, gloomy and dark, but without rain. So <laughs> that was kind of strange, but it felt pretty funny because um, I was just standing under, under these trees, hiding from the rain, just laughing. And it was actually very, very nice um, because <laughs> I, was, it, I was far too, uh, too prepared for it being cold outside. But uh, even though it was very gloomy, it was still pretty warm, like 22 Celsius, um, so I was very hot and uh, this nice rain shower was actually very, very relaxing and very refreshing and um, it kind of freshened up and cooled the air down a little bit, which, which was very, very nice. Yeah, now I'm just making the oil while I have food in the oven and I'm very excited because now I am very, very friggin hungry. <laughs> so I can't wait for the food to be ready. I've had a very cozy time watching Practical Magic now with my cats on the couch and a lot of candles going. But I have one more thing that I want to do today. It's pretty late already, but I 
still kind of want to use the opportunity of an Aries full moon for a luck spell. So let's do some magic. All right, with my spell now working in the background, I will go to bed pretty quickly. So this is where I will leave you for today. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, as always, make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up and definitely ring the bell down below so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Of course, you can check out all of my other socials and my shop for sustainably and ethically sourced witchcraft and paganism tools. And if you want to, support me financially then of course you can check out my patreon and with that being said i will see you in the next video bye and have a good night <laughs>